Hello. In this bit, we will talk about tubular scaffolding system. So, we'll work with uh, applications NanoCAD Mechanica. So, I just installed NanoCAD Mechanica 8.5. It's a fresh copy of Mechanica 8.5. So I will open the applications. It will take few seconds to open. Okay, so Mechanica is ready for work now. So go back to the directory uh, in the tabular scaffolding system where I have uh, three different components. One is mcd.mcd file that holds all the bill of quantity functionality of tabular scaffolding system. And I have one more uh, DWG. Uh, holding all the layers we use in tabular scaffolding system modeling we we can use uh, either the DWG or DWT depending upon the working procedure so let's go back to the applications Mechanica so first thing what we should do we should go to the library so in the library section I should click on the table and on that I should click right click and I should uh, go to import object if I click on that and then I should go to the folder and choose the MCD so I choose the MCD and say ok so this will be imported in the library you can click on the log to view uh, later on if you want you can save the log uh, just close the window the import window so the file will deposit one library objects in anocad mechanical library right so the next thing what we should do we should bring the DWG so you should go to the folder and this is the DWG so it will bring all the layers so if we use the DWG all the layers will come automatically so all the layers are already created in this file so we can either start working on this file uh, or we can just delete everything in this file now for now so we just delete it so now a fresh uh, window where we can start creating our model scaffolding model tabular scaffolding model so the way of work I mean will be using the wheel of quantity library objects and the layer and if you do not really want to use the DWG every time open and then start work you should go to tools and uh, option and it will open the options of NanoCAD Mechanica and you should click on template use and uh, for new documents or imported you can click on new so when you will start a new document in NanoCAD Mechanica you can choose either one of these options you can choose uh, this options choose uh, from the list and you can create the list basically you can create list like you can click and you can say you you need all the DWT in the 
default template section so you should set one by one tabular scaffolding system and other different scaffolding system in the options as a default twt files so every time you will open uh, every time you will open nanocad mechanica you will have a list of different scaffolding system so you can choose one of the templates and start working on that so in my case i will use the twg not twt so i just clicked on that and uh, the next thing will be this one so i will take the bill of quantity like this so uh, here my bill of quantity will come so all the components the pipe components i will use in the model will come in this list so now uh, i should go to the 3d environment so i'm just going to the 3d environment now so now i'll try to create one pipe so before that i need to create uh, a layer in this case i will pick a layer for example this one so i just select the layer and i'll go to 3d features before that i need to create some circles so these are my profile five a diameter so now i'll go to the 3d functions called extrude and We'll click on that and I'll say the length will be um, something 1200 so this is fine. and one more so this one and the length will be 1000 So the bill of quantity will create automatically and if we draw or if we copy say copy 1.5 and the quantity will be increased and if I delete one item like this so the quantity will decrease right and now if you double click on that and you can go to file and export to excel so these informations will be transferred to excel okay. so all the informations will come to excel now so in this way uh, you, you can actually customize the table exactly the way you want and the the headers the informations you need in the table uh, the user will be allowed to decide and then form the table and it will appear in the list right so thank you for now if you have any specific queries on uh, tabular scaffolding system or any other scaffolding system bill of quantities please let us know in the comment section or write to us we will help thank you